So I am going to get started. Um, this is going to be, this is a half hour max. I'm going to give a little intro to myself and then what is new. After uh, this webinar, we will send out a link with the recording. Oh, I see Cindy's answering. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next slide. So this is me. I'm Jenny. Um, I am the VP of Customer Success. I've been at Everflow now, I think, five years. Starting next month, I live in San Francisco. I started the Europe team in Amsterdam. It was Teja and I in the beginning. Well, it was just me for a while. But then I got Teja. Thank you, Teja. Um, and another fun fact is I don't just spell my name crazy with a G. It's G for Genevieve. But I won't respond if you say that. Um, <laughs> it's just I'm not used to it. So a little bit about what we're going to do today. This is my first webinar, at least my first one in a very long time. So bear with me. Um, I see you're already using this Q&A, so that's great. After this, uh, we will be sending out everyone who attended a link to the recording, as well as putting the recording up in the help desk under the webinar section. Okay, so we're going to be going over again using the email and HTML creatives. So what is new? So we heard you and we heard that there is a lot of improvements that could be made to the HTML creative. So the number one thing that we did was instead of giving you two options, email or HTML, to select when creating a new creative type, because really they're the same, we made it one creative type. So now you don't have to choose between the two. Um, you can also add from and subject lines to the creative itself, as well as on the offer level, and both are downloadable once added. Um, you now have a choice when you select email or HTML to upload a zip file, and then all the assets will just be displayed in front of you, and you'll be able to update the links and the images, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, or you can do this uh, more manually, where you copy paste the HTML, you can even type it out, and then you upload the assets, like the images that you want, and then you can just add them into the HTML as you go. Whoops. Um, there's also the ability, so if you have an HTML creative that has a ton of the same tracking link needed to be added instead of doing one at a time. You could choose to do a bulk. So everything, it's basically a control find and control replace. Um, you can do this for images and for links. And then, like I said before, there's offer level and creative level from and subject lines. And new in the partner portal is that they you can download the from and subject lines directly from the creative asset. So now I'm going to show you once I get out of this screen, what this all means within Everflow. So I'm going to skip the basics of how I got to an offer. However, if you'd like me to explain that, just ask. Um, so what I'm going to do here is go to creatives. And I'm obviously I'm adding an offer on a sorry, I'm adding a creative on an offer level. So now you'll see you can choose email or HTML. So here I'm going to say webinar hat test. Here you can decide is this going to be visible to your partners or not? I want it to be visible. Um, yeah then you can decide on email or HTML. So I'm going to start with HTML and then we'll go through and do the email. So this is already selected for this specific offer, but of course you can choose more offers. You can select all of them and you can also filter by advertiser, by label. So let me just put this one back in here. All right, and let me move this share screen. You go to next, and all you have to do is drop this in here. 
So I've already created the bundle, the zip file. which of course is not the right one. So hold on just a second, sorry about that. Um, should have practiced, made sure that was the right one. Uh, webinar cat test, all right. We're gonna do HTML and next. Actually, let me do it like this. Drop it in there. Two, three, seven, five. Don't worry about this. I want to see. Okay. So basically it has an image and it has um, the HTML creative in it. That's all that's in this zip file. And now you can see the assets, which are the images are shown below. And then here, the yellow highlighted are the, um, the tracking links as well as the images so that you can change these to use the macros for Everflow. So it's a dynamic tracking link. And I'm gonna show you this by using bulk edit for the tracking links. So you can pick an image or a link. And to just go back, I assume you're in this call because you are familiar with email and HTML, but href is for tracking links or for links and SRC are the images. So I'm gonna to go to links and then here I can say, okay, every tracking link and I would like it to be a tracking link. So it's gonna replace it with the macro for tracking links. So when the partner downloads the creative, it's gonna be their unique partner tracking link. Same if you download this specifically for a partner, it will be their unique tracking link. And then for the image, you can also just click on it and it will, let me show you here. There's a little um, pen or pencil, you can also just click on it and I can say, I want this one because this is the asset here. Then I'm gonna hit next. Okay, looks good to me. You can always add in more macros if you like. For example, a unsub link. Now I'm gonna add it. And here you go, you can see the preview. This is exactly what I wanted. I have my cute cat friend here and it's all done. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the partner login. So this is a partner I have. I am going to impersonate. And I'm going to go to offer 655. And then here you can see our, all the previews, nice. Um, and they can download either just the text, just the HTML or the package. So I'm gonna download the package and I will bring this up here for you to see. So now they're going to have this, which is their partner tracking link and this specific offer is set up for direct linking. So this is a direct link. Um, and then here is the hosted image. And they can just scrape that and go. And I did forget to put in from and subject line. So sorry about that, but I do have it in this one, which I did a test from. Um, so you can see the subject lines or in text form. You can also see in the email instructions, this is on the offer level, the from and subject lines. And then download, when they're downloaded, it is the creative specific ones. All right.
Thank you. Do you have any questions? Let me bring this up here. I know that was fairly fast, 14 minutes altogether. Thanks, guys. So we'll send this out, um, yeah, in the next few days. And thank you for attending. The difference here is if I keep this as email, there's still the from and subject lines. On the email, cre uh, sorry, on the creative part. And then let's do email webinar. So here it's going to be, so on the first, sorry, let me go back. So on the first page, the difference is it's going to ask you your from and subject lines. Where in the HTML, it doesn't say that in the beginning. And then here, you're given the choice in both to build from a zip file or to manually upload. So if you wanted to let me grab this. So here you could just drop in the image and then drop in the HTML. So it's it's more manually to build it. And then you'll also have to go, okay, I need to change that to mm, tracking link redirect. So the bulk edit aspect isn't there. It's just not as automated. And some people do need this to maybe they want to make tweaks to it. And yeah, that is the big difference there. Thank you for that question.